Lay out the rafters in the direction you want them to open. We recommend the front of the rafter face the most southerly direction. If your rafters line up east to west, then it's up to you which way you'd like the rafter louvers to open. Longer rafters will come with a splice. Deburr the splice and the rafter. You may use a lubricant to help the splice slide into the rafter. Any type of dry lube, WD-40, or even chapstick will work well. Slide the two rafters together and secure them with four number 14 sheet metal screws. Slide the drive shaft pins into the Solera rafters. Locate the mechanism hole in each rafter. Begin with the outside rafters and slide the drive shaft pin towards the center of the cover until it is flush with the inside of the rafter. In the middle rafter, slide the drive shaft pin through the rafter so it protrudes evenly from both sides. Do not hit or hammer the drive shaft pins with anything. You may want to lubricate it with graphite or another type of lubricant. The drive shaft pins will expand in very hot weather. You can place them in ice water for 30 minutes prior to your installation. This will avoid material expansion and make your installation much easier. If you have a motorized unit, the motor should be installed only on the beam with the pre-drilled hole near the fiberglass mechanism. It is the only beam with this hole and is custom made for the motor. This beam should be installed as the middle beam when laying out the rafters. A special drive shaft pin will be included in your kit for the motor. It's very important that the louver brackets are parallel and level. This will ease louver installation and ensure proper function of your Alumajust shade structure. Please note, do not connect the rafter to the exterior bracket at this point. Slide the Solera rafters on top of the support beams, being careful not to scratch the rafter. Ensure that the middle rafter is equipped with the drive shaft pin. It should be protruding evenly from both sides for the hang crank applications or the motor pin for the electric motor applications. Ensure all of the brackets line up in a straight line. Connect the brackets with the remaining three screws on the support beam. Measure the overhang and ensure the rafters are square. If the cover is not square, it will not work properly. Connect the two outside rafters with only one screw on each side of the bracket. This will be the pivot. Use only a total of four screws in this step. Count 10 louver brackets from one end of the rafters and span a line in the trapezoid louver cut across all the rafters. Ensure the line is tight and tied at both ends. Ensure the middle rafters are almost touching the string line at the same point that it is touching the outside rafters. You can move the rafter slightly up or down or from side to side to level and align the middle rafters with the outside rafters. You may have to adjust the height of the outside rafters if the middle rafters are too high. Connect only the middle rafter, the one with the crank or the motor, with only one screw to the bracket on each side and at only one end. Use only two screws for this step.